Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today we're back with another Tech Tuesday. We do these uh, bonus features, the Tech Tuesdays, to help you guys out there, whatever it may be within 3D printing, editing, whatever we may be doing. Uh, just try to do some of these extra features to help you guys out there. Um, so make sure you do like and subscribe so then that way you get notifications to anything new that uh, Brian and I are putting out uh, depending upon these uh, tech videos if you're looking for those and then you'll get a notification in regards to what's up and coming next. So we had some uh, additional questions and comments in our comment lines and of course make sure that you guys do you know put anything in the comments or questions or email us if there's something you're looking for and we always try to put out as many videos as we can as quick as possible. Uh, related to the topic you're asking us. So today we're talking about uh, the um, PLA feeding and the issues that you're all having out there where the the filament uh, gets stuck, no matter if it's PLA plus, PLA, whatever filament it is, it gets stuck inside the uh, certain area. So we're gonna be talking about one other area. We've touched on some other topics, but there's numerous issues that you could have and problems within the 3d printer so we try to separate all these videos into different uh, video segments so this one's going to be talking about where the filament actually gets stuck up in here inside the uh, heater element it comes down through the tube here through the heating element and then down through the uh, tip itself and as you see this is a picture that uh, was taken and you can see some of the filament already um, getting stuck up on to the brass uh, feeder and the filament coming through. So I have an, uh, another picture where the filament right in here over time, and this is because we talked about some of the maintenance things and we, so we, we had some issues here where we shut off our printer and didn't remove the filament right away. And it ended up, uh, some of it ended up drying in there, but over time what happens is it, it gets the dust, the debris, and then it builds up right in here. And you don't even know that this is occurring uh, until it finally starts coming out the end real slow or not coming out quick enough because it's, it's getting hung up inside here on dirt and debris. So in the next picture, I'm gonna show you what that uh, filament looks like when it gets stuck with dirt and debris. So this is the picture here that uh, where we had already taken the filament, cut it off. Um, this is actually the end where it was stuck inside of the um, the brass fitting itself uh, where the filament comes out. Um, and then this is actually where the tube comes through you, the by the heater and then it goes through here right, right behind the heater. This is where the heater would go. But we uh, took a, these are actually some parts of the MK uh, X that we'll be talking about in another segment, but we these are extra parts that we just wanted to kind of show you how that feeds through. So as you see here, you can see all the, the melted dirt debris that got stuck up in there. So we literally physically had to pull the end filament brass fitting off itself. So make sure when you do this, we'll put that in another segment, how to remove that. And you have to be really careful because you can you know damage some areas but those will be in removal uh segment but that's the issue right here so we had to pull all the filament out take it all out and then clean all that out and we just ended up just replacing the um brass head itself and as i said in other videos these are fairly inexpensive so just take the time and uh you know purchase some and you know always have those on hand because they're only maybe depending upon how many you buy they're anywhere between 20 cents to a dollar each uh, depending upon the quantities you buy so these are always good to replace as they start to get worn as you've seen in that uh, previous picture so we hope this helps in regards to some of the filament issues where it can be stuck if you can't find it anywhere else within the line we'll we'll do some uh, other future um uh videos up and coming that will have some extra other tips in the, the filament and a bunch of other uh, topics that we've um, had questions on within the 3D printing. So we hope this helps and we'll see you on the next one.